All right, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the process of waxing it. Um, I have my wax up to temperature, um, too hot and it burns the wick because it's synthetic, not hot enough. Uh, it doesn't penetrate through the whole core of the, of the whip. So easily put it in there and make sure it all gets submerged. Basically, as it uh, soaks up the wax, you'll see bubbles forming and keep tapping on it. I usually sit, let them sit in there for, uh, it usually takes about five to 10 minutes. Uh, this wax is about 190. Um, you're supposed to do it anywhere between 180 to 190 degrees. Um, actually, it's, I'm sorry. Uh, 180 to 210. Um, anything over 210, um, because this is paracord, it'll just melt the paracord because it's synthetic material. But what this does, A, is it protects your whip. B, it gives it better, uh, more weight, and uh, it rolls out better. Um, there's just a lot of benefits to waxing the whip. And it just gives it that good, heavy feel. And uh, this is what helps it last a long time, you know? Uh, especially living out here in Arizona where, mo where I sell most of my whips. You know, guys are cracking these things and this material hits the ground and rather than tearing and scuffing it, um, the wax almost acts like a, uh, uh, like a lubricant so it slides off the ground rather than tears and frays and, you know, I don't care what you put on these whips. I mean, they're going to take some abuse when you get them and use them in these environments, but this is what separates quality from non-quality when it comes to whips. Guys are actually dipping their whips. Um, it just creates an all around better quality whip that's gonna last longer, feels great, um, and has great action, great flow. The rollout is amazing. And uh, I showed a video earlier before I waxed this whip of this whip cracking. And I guarantee you, after I pull this out and dry it off, uh, you know, wipe off the excess, it's gonna crack three times as loud as it did earlier. And that's just the added weight, the inertial force, uh, and the smooth action of it um, when you're actually using it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video now, um, and I'll come back after I've pulled this out and uh, dried it off and let it uh, let it sit for a little bit. So once again, this is another whip from Ultrasonic Whip Artistry. Thanks for watching. Bye.